Mother's Day is this weekend. If you need some inspiration for a sweet something, look no further than today's Daily Dish. I think we need to rename this one the Daily Dessert. So here's a look at what you'll need to make our baker, Jyoti Nanra's Dessert Pots. Looks like everything you need to make a treat fit for the queens in our lives. Jyoti, you always have the best ideas for a sweet little something. Not only do they taste delicious, they look so cute. So how do we start? Hi, Trace. Okay, so we are going to start by making a super easy custard. If you've never made a custard from scratch before, don't be worried. It's very, very easy. What you're going to do is in a medium-sized saucepan, you just want to combine your full-fat coconut milk and your whole milk, and you're just going to place that over medium heat. Don't step away from it. Have a spatula so that you can sort of stir it once every minute or so. And then in the meantime, you're going to whisk together your yolks your cornstarch and your sugar. And once it's whisked, it's gonna sort of get pale in color and that's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna let that chill out until our cream comes to a very gentle simmer. And then once it comes to a very gentle simmer, you're gonna remove it off your heat. And this is where I think most people get a little bit scared. So this process is called tempering our yolks. It's essentially adding half of our milk and coconut cream mixture into our yolk mixture, just so we can whisk everything together and ensure that the sort of temperature shock doesn't cook our yolks. We don't want scrambled eggs here. We just want a really nice creamy custard. So we're gonna temper those yolks. And then once we've added half of that cream mixture in, we're gonna return everything back into the saucepan, pop it back over medium heat, constantly whisk. It's gonna get really, really nice and thick. Super easy, you're gonna let it cool. And then you have this gorgeous custard. It's so good. It's so creamy. Mm. I could literally just eat it with a spoon and it's so nice and thick. So now I'm going to show you how to make a really easy lemon whip. So our lemon whip is just heavy cream that we're going to pop into our uh, mixer bowl. If you're hand whisking this, that's also totally okay. A little bit of cream cheese just to stabilize everything. We're doing some lemon juice for that nice lemony flavor. We've got a little bit of zest that I've just zested up here, and that's just going to add even more nice flavor. And then our powdered sugar. If you want to add some vanilla or a pinch of salt, you totally can. I'm not going to do that. And then with my whisk attachment, I'm going to pop that in secure my bowl and I'm going to start on a lower speed and then work my way up. And if you really want to cut it short, you can even go ahead and buy one of those like tubs of whipped cream and just use that if you really don't want to do this That's step. True. But we have a really nice thick whip here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a piping bag and I've just fitted, oh, wrong one. I've just <laughs> fitted my piping bag with a piping tip. This is just to add a little bit of texture on top of our um, custard cup. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my whip and pop it into this bag here. And then I love custard, but I feel like when it's super rich, this is just my personal preference, I can't eat as much of it. And for me, I like to eat a lot of dessert. So what <laughs> I like to do is I like to actually take that custard and I pop it into the bowl with the extra whipped cream. And this is just gonna lighten it up a little bit. Yeah. And you have that, you get like such a nice airy texture. So we're gonna go ahead. Our lightened up custard is going into another piping bag. So this piping bag here, we actually don't need to fit with any kind of piping tip. We're just gonna grab that guy up. And if you don't have piping bags, go ahead and use a Ziploc bag, one of those large ones. Mm -hmm. Just gonna snip this right here. And this is just gonna make our jars so cute. So I've got a cute jar here and I've got some crushed cookies. You can use graham crackers, you can use crushed Oreos, use whatever you like. And I like to pile in a ton of cookies. So you have almost like a crust at the bottom of your jar, just like that. Oh, yeah. And then go in with that gorgeous custard. Ooh, just like that. Yeah. And then just give it a slight hit against your palm. It just settles it all in. And now I'm going to go in with this whip. Nice. 
You know, what's good about these, Jyoti, is that if you are not able to celebrate with your mom, this is a beautiful thing you can you can give to her, you know, even if you can't enjoy it together. I like that it's like a little single serve dessert. That's a lovely thing to drop off for Mother's Day. Absolutely. Yeah, and they come with lids. If you just pipe them a little bit lower, you throw on a lid oh, and you have so these super cute. Ah, aren't they so cute? Yes. <laughs> Really nice work there, Joti. They're delicious. Oh my gosh. Of course they're delicious because, you know, thank it's you. your recipe. So uh, thank you for that. <laughs> if you want to try making these for mom this weekend, that recipe is, of course, on our website, though. So that's cityline.tv.